Have you ever wanted something more than anything, but for the life of you, you couldn't stay motivated to actually make it happen? For some people, this is sticking to the diet and going to the gym. For others, it's starting a business and persisting through difficult times. No matter what it is for you, we all have something that we've not been able to achieve. And the reason that we often give ourselves is that we just don't have enough motivation. So in this video, you're going to discover five keys to gain motivation so that you can accomplish more of what you really want. The first key is to not rely on motivation because motivation can be fleeting. One day you feel like exercising and the next you don't. Working towards your goals is not always pleasant, so for the times you just don't feel like it, you're going to need willpower. And willpower operates kind of like a muscle in that it can fatigue. You might be able to resist the urge to eat junk food in the morning, but after a long day of exercising willpower to make the right decisions over and over, you're likely to mindlessly indulge in the evening. And that's kind of like exercise to the point of failure. So if you want to maintain your willpower, avoid stacking a lot of temptations one after another, which is what so many of us do when we go on vacation and why we have a hard time sticking to our habits. The good news is that like a muscle, willpower does seem to strengthen with repeated use, provided you have time to rest and eat in between. So forcing yourself to wake up at the first alarm day after day or take cold showers in the morning can increase willpower throughout your life. Second is to realize that the most common way to drain your willpower every Every single day is by making decisions. It doesn't matter if you're deliberating over Chinese food versus Italian or whether or not you should make a drastic career change. The more time you spend going back and forth over decisions, big and small, the more you're draining your willpower. That means that one of the best things you can do for your willpower is to automate inconsequential decisions or at least make them very quickly. So the next time you can't decide what to wear or where to eat, go with option A and save yourself the willpower for when you really need it. Third, change your environment so you don't have to use willpower. If you want to get fit, sign up for a gym that you'll pass in your daily commute, not the one that's 20 minutes away. If you want to be more productive, delete apps on your phone that you find yourself compulsively checking. The less you have to think, I should or shouldn't do that thing, the better. For instance, drinking more water can be made as simple as bringing a gallon container with you to work. The biggest win is going to be spending time with friends that have similar goals. That way, instead of being tempted to cheat all the time, you're being pushed to better yourself. Fourth, set hard and fast rules. Trying to watch less TV forces you to constantly decide whether or not you should or should not be watching in any given moment. More decision making means worse decisions. So choosing in advance to watch one half hour show that you like and then turn off the TV for the rest of the day makes the decision making process much simpler and easier to abide by. Communicate these rules to friends and you're likely to get in fewer arguments about having just one more piece of cake. And fifth, use the moment of inspiration to commit yourself going forward. That means when you watch a video that makes you think, man, I really need to start that business I've been thinking of, you need to capitalize. So put yourself on the hook to deliver. Schedule a time to get working and set reminders. Better yet, email a friend and set a lunch date for her to walk you through how she started her business. Getting other people involved is critical because when you wake up in the morning, you probably won't feel like doing what you knew you should last night. But if someone else is counting on you to show up, you're much more likely to follow through. There you have it, five ways to gain motivation and optimize your willpower. And if you want to optimize your charisma, make sure to click the button here and subscribe to our channel. It's a great way to commit yourself to action in the future. What's up guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video and I just wanted to make a quick outro to ask you if you like this animated style. If you do, let me know about it in the comments, give this video a like because I'm not sure if we're going to continue with this. The idea arose from the fact that I'm in Brazil, I can't record as easily, right now I'm in, I'm in my bedroom right now, it's with the computer on my lap and a crummy microphone, but I can't record as many videos as I'd like, so I figured if we could do a refresh of this type of video, three to four minutes, maybe some content I covered before on Thursdays, that would be cool for you guys. This is not at all intended to take away from what we're going to be doing on Mondays, which is typically charisma breakdowns, the style of thing that you're used to seeing, but if you do like this, let me know because it's not a ton of my time and we've got a really helpful animator, Bonnie. You did a fantastic job with this. Uh, but let me know. So if you do, let me know in the comments. Of course, don't forget to subscribe because these thumbnails will look different and you might not recognize them. So click that button, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And I gotta stop bumping this computer. <laughs>